Okay, so this is a Panther video covering the scoring of lines. And I've got two, well, I've got two um, utility knives. One, which I'm going to use now, has been sanded down. So I just took uh, fine sandpaper and sanded it quite dull because we don't actually want to cut the paper when we're scoring the lines. So you start out by just uh, sort of hand flattening the pieces. Like, they'll flatten more once you've actually folded them, but it just makes it a little bit easier now if you have them a bit flatter. Now, I'm actually not going to use the sharp utility knife, but I use it in the last step, so... You still need a sharp one for most things. This is pretty much the only step where you need a dull one. So... Take the dull blade and just, you can use lots of, this is the dull one, yeah. you can use lots of pressure because you're just trying to score the lines without cutting through. But it should be, you should be able to make much nicer lines and you won't like reveal the inside of the cardboard when you fold it if you use a dull blade like this. Okay, and so when, uh, oh, I'll just keep going. Uh, so these longer lines, it's tempting to try to use a ruler but I've never found it works well at all. Um, for some reason, the blade kind of seems to shear off into the model when you're trying to follow the ruler. And you can't exactly see where you're supposed to be cutting, so it's just way less accurate. For me, anyways, you may have better luck with me. Now, when you're doing this back, when remember this is cut to here, so you don't actually want to take the groove any farther than that. The score line, rather. And uh, you just go slow. Try to keep your lines nice and straight. And accurate. <laughs> okay, and um, on the option B, there's a one score that you do on the back. So, obviously, just kind of, well, you can, I don't have a pen, oh, here we go. Just mark sort of the reverse side. And then uh, make a line to follow. Just makes it easier so you don't end up leaving where you want to be. You can also sort of score the front and then just use the back. But it's nice to have the symbols where these holes are and stuff. So I'll generally just score it on the back. Okay, and now take this ruler here. It's nice to have a ruler for this. And you're going to kind of just push all the lines over like that. So especially for these long ones, you'll definitely want the ruler. For most of them, you actually don't need it. But it's definitely nice to have it for these long ones because you don't want it bending where it's not supposed to. And you can see it doesn't reveal the interior of the cardboard if you use the dull blade. If I'd used a sharp one, that'd kind of crack open a bit. Or even if you use too much pressure, you could cut it right through, which is not good at all. So you don't really even need the uh, straight edge for these, the rest of these. 
and you can see that like the all the folds around this flat area keep it pretty flat so yeah you won't even really need them for the for the turret at all you can just bend things over no harm no foul